there are many ways you can take a stand. For instance, if you're down at the club and they're disrespecting women, for you that should be the, the ability to stand up and take that strong action in disrespecting women is wrong. You know, that won't happen around me. If you want to take that conversation, take it elsewhere. And I think that's important for our men to take, stand up and take that stand. If I hear sort of people talk derogatory about either their wives or girlfriends or even just women in general, it's just like, well, I usually just pipe up and say, well, why are you talking about them like that? Like, I know your wife or your girlfriend, like, they're pretty nice to me. <laughs> um, you know, they married you for a reason, so why are you talking to them, talking about them like that for? No, I usually pull them up pretty quick if they're talking bad, bad stuff about any kind of women, so. It's important to speak up, shame them out, say stop, that's not okay. It's up to you as an individual to make a choice and say stop, I don't like it. Don't be that bystander and stand there and allow that to happen. If you're hearing any of these conversations or any of these you know, verbalisations of you know, derogatory issues towards females or players on the field, uh, kids, w whatever arena you're in, it's not acceptable. If you're standing there and just allowing it to happen, you're actually part of the problem. You, it's about time that we took a stand and stand up and actually say, no, it's not okay. But it's about how you approach that and the language you use as in identifying it and not actually putting people on show, but actually taking them away and just say, mate, look, what, you, what you're saying is, is not okay. But, um, and these are the reasons why I, I think it's not okay. But actually having the uh, the courage to actually stand within that fire and actually have that conversation with people in that arena as well. It's, it's not an easy thing, um, but it's about having the courage, I, I believe, to stand up to it, yeah. So often um, a bunch of guys might be having a, having a laugh, having a few beers uh, down the pub, they're relaxing, and somebody will make some comments about the missus or it might be quite derogatory. Um, it's often the thin end of the wedge and it might actually be telling you that something else could be going on. So I would encourage um, men to encourage other men to call the men's referral service if they think they could actually do be talking to somebody about their uh, underlying attitudes towards women, which may be leading to family violence. It's really important that your club needs to take a stand on family and domestic violence. It, this can range from laughing at crude jokes all the way up to if you witness an assault, call the police. If you witness family or domestic violence, your personal safety should be first priority. In then, calling the police, someone within your local club, to get help. At our club in Broken Hill, the Saints Rugby League Club signed a code of conduct in regards to the domestic violence. Everyone reads that document and um, that's making sure that they're aware of the, that uh, process and their responsibilities around the, the domestic violence and that we will act once we find out that there's, a, there's issues arising depending on the seriousness of, of the matter. Uh, they may even then be stood down for half the season or the full season. So um, on the day if we're informed that player will not take the field. So there's some of the processes that we follow, we're strict and uh, we want to make sure that this hits the nail right on the end in regards to the issues around domestic violence that's not tolerated in the game. If, if the more elite athletes have to be held responsible, why shouldn't we be held responsible? And um, I think it's a really good idea because people go to the football because it's either their way out of the house or it's you know, their way of bonding with their friends and stuff like that. And if they can't play football because of domestic violence, then They've just shot themselves in the foot pretty much and you know, if football is their life then their life's just shot pretty much. If you stand around and do nothing about it, it means that you accept this behaviour. It's time to stand up, speak up and make a difference. I think the message that you would be sending if um, no one stands up and um, does something about it, um, encourages it in a way. Um, talking about it makes people more aware of it and um, it encourages us all to work together to try and make a change and put a stop to it. 
If you witness family and domestic violence by doing nothing, you're enabling the perpetrator to continue what he's doing. So stand up and do something. People often think that domestic and family violence is being punched, being kicked, and it can be. But there's also a, 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 an underlying emotional and psychological abuse that can be going on that can be just as harmful and damaging even if you can't see the bruises. So if you think someone's in that situation and you want to get some help, please call the Men's Referral Service. 1300 766 491.